What's up, good people? In this tutorial, we are going to create this beautiful spotlight effect for the active menu item using Frame. Let's start designing. All right, so here we are in Framer and we are going to start designing by creating a new project. And here we have our default desktop screen. So I'm going to change the color from white to something dark. And then we are going to create the active menu state first. So we had a text inside the active menu. So I'm writing home now and I'll change the color from dark to white. Wait from regular to bold and then we want to have a spotlight so to do that i will press g on my keyboard to activate the graph tool and select this square shape from here and create a square shape and then i'll change the size to maybe 40 and double click on it change the shape to something like this to create the spotlight um yeah this is fine i believe all right so now what we are going to do as this one is selected i'll change the color from solid to gradient so i want to have white here and here i also want to have white but i'll change the opacity from 100 to zero right now i'm going to select this graphic and then apply a frame here. So command enter and change the name to maybe spotlight. And what I will do, I'll reduce the opacity to 0.5 so that we have that smooth light effect. All right, now I'm going to select both of it and press option command and enter in my keyboard to create a stack and change the gap from 10 to zero. And I'll also at this point change the width to fit content, change the height to fit content as well. Now we have our, a part of our active menu item. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rename it as menu item. And I'll press, as this one is selected, I'll press Option Command K to create a component. Now, I'll first create a hover state. But before that, what I want to do, I want to make it look like the default menu item. So to do that, I will select the text, change it to um, medium, change the color from white to something dark, and I'll reduce the opacity of the spotlight to zero. We don't want the opacity, uh, sorry, the spotlight in the default menu item. Now I'm going to select it and create hover state of it. And in the hover one, we want to have bold weight. And also we want to create an active state right now so I'll create a new variant by clicking on this and then here I'll change the font weight from medium to bold also I'll apply white color here and then I'll for the spotlight I'll change the opacity to 0 to 0.5 so we have this click now we're going to select this and apply a click event here so we, when we tap on it when we want to go to the variant 2 and yep we can test it right now so we have it we click on it we have our state now at this point what we want to have we want to have a blinking effect of this spotlight so to do that i'll create more variants of it so one of this one so before that i'll select this one and click one so that it creates the same thing and then uh, I'll remove the um, interaction that has been applied on it automatically uh, by Framer and create this plus button again to create another variant. From the second one, we want to disappear the spotlight. So I'll change the opacity to zero 
and in the third one like the fourth variant in the fourth variant we want to have the spotlight back all right so now we have this interaction here when we click on it we are going here and when it appears we want to go this state so we are going to select this one and from the variant 2 we are going to go variant 3 and uh, but at this point we want to apply this appear effect which is basically the after delay of figma now here we want to have 0.2 seconds maybe of delay and from this point to this point we want to have appear effect again but this time maybe 0.5 a little bit extra delay so it will create that um blinking effect so if you check it click on it it blinks right cool now we are going to go back to our home and this one is already a component and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create duplicate it two times to and change it to from home to work and this one should be the third one and I'll change it to wait cool then I'm gonna select all of it and press option command enter to create a stack and this one is horizontally aligned so perfectly fine um, I'll apply maybe 64 in the gap and for the purpose of this uh, tutorial this is fine I'm not gonna deal with it right now so maybe change the height to 60 doesn't matter now all right so from the first one in the first one I want to change the state from variant 1 to 2 to have the spotlight right and then we are going to create the light by creating a frame so I'm going to press F and create a frame here. I'll change the height to 4 and width to 36 maybe. Yeah. And I'll apply a white color, radius 4. Now, as this one is selected, I will press Command X to cut it. Select this one and paste it here inside. And then as this one is selected already, I'll change the position from relative to absolute, right? And then I'll move it, and also I'm holding down option in my keyboard. And I'll move it to this position as this one is selected. I'll select this and apply center aligned here, right? Now we have this light effect, finally. Now what we want to do, we want to create our menu from this point and we want to create a component so first what I will do I'll rename it as menu and press option command K enter to create a component now we want to have a variation where this um, options will be activated so I'll create one variation and one variation right and from F from the second one and the third one I'll change the home to variant one and in the second one, we want to change the variant from 1 to 2. And in the third one, we want to have the same. Right? And at this point, I'll change the position of this indicator. We could, I could rename it actually, but yeah. However, I'm going to place it here and select both of it. Apply center line and click this one I'm pressing shift and arrow key to move it and yeah select both of it center line cool now what we are going to do we are going to apply that click event so when we click on the work we want to go here without any delay we when we want when we will click on play we want to go to variant 3 and here to here and this one should be selected automatically. Framer is smart enough to understand it. Cool. And this one to here. And this one is selected automatically. Cool. So we have every click event here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the variant one, which is the primary variant you can see here. And come here and change the, the default transition. And I want to have something like a bounce effect. So I'll just change the damping to... Uh, 20 maybe yeah and it will be applied to everywhere 
so yeah we we actually have created the spotlight effect uh, so let's go back to home this one is already connected to the component so we can test it out so if you click on it so yeah we have it you click on it it's blinking and moving like you have a bounce and also the spotlight blinks yes so this was it i hope you have enjoyed the video and yeah happy designing